The threat posed by erosion to Scotland's coastlines being examined at several sites around our shores. Three-dimensional mapping will be created at locations like Montrose, St Andrews and Scarabri in Orkney to work out how best to protect them. The first phase of the study, led by Scottish Natural Heritage, found a fifth of our coastline is at risk. Our environment correspondent Kevin Keane has more. Well, this is the beach at Monifeath and you can see some of the sea defences that have recently been put in behind me and they're actually not very effective because the sea is getting over them, at some points it's getting under them and then in really stormy weather it's washing away uh, the sand that's behind me here and causing even more coastal erosion. Well, the person who's leading this project is Jim Hanson from Glasgow University. So just explain how something like this can be helped by your work. The idea behind Dynamic Coast 2 is to examine the coastline in great detail um, in a three-dimensional sense. So we can add um, various topographic maps produced by um, aerial photography, um, by um, drone photography, and identify where sediment is arriving, where sediment is disappearing. In other words, we can get a real handle on the sediment budget associated with coastal erosion. And really that kind of helps make strategic decisions, doesn't it? Because there'll be areas where this will be allowed to happen, but here we're right next to a railway line, so it's more important. Absolutely. It will allow local planners, it will allow Transport Scotland, uh, Network Rail and the Scottish Government to make strategic decisions depending upon how effective um, the uh, 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 coastal defences are uh, and where the erosion is taking place. And that will allow uh, strategic decisions to be made as to whether to spend money on re refurbishing the defences, renewing the defences or a completely different type of defence strategy, perhaps um, importing sand to um, bolster the beach. If you've got uh, a beach erosion problem then why not bring the sediment to the beach? Um, or indeed some locations may require removal of the assets that are being threatened by coastal erosion. In other words, think more sensibly about how we zone our coastal land. So lots of options available. Jim, thank you very much indeed for joining us. And this is the second part of a project. The first, which culminated last year, found that one-fifth of the coastline around Scotland is susceptible to coastal erosion. This one will last two years. Kevin Keane reporting Scotland, Monifeath. The Scottish Government's announced that hundreds of millions of pounds are to be spent to extend superfast broadband to 